Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are back here and today what we're going to be doing first is we are going to be finishing off biological science and then I actually think that we are going to do our best to work towards um, tier 3 and 4 of astronomic science because I would really love to get this spaceship which is tier 3 um, astronomic and you know then I think we'll work towards tier 3 of energy because I would really love to get supercomputer 2's um, so that's kind of like the game plan for the upcoming episodes I think is working towards those next two things while we do some biological researches but first we do need to finish off biological science um, so if we come up here uh, let's see we've got I think literally everything except for the bio scrubbers um, so what we need to do is we need to actually make some bio scrubbers and then request them. Um, one more grid all the way up here. All right, here we are. And it looks like we're making insight. I didn't mean to be, oh, actually it looks like it's fine. Um, all right, so this is going to be tier two of this. And we are going to, let's, let's uh, start queuing up some of these researches, honestly. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do first? Ooh, we're going to be able to get advanced chemical plants soon, which I've been very much looking forward to. Um, what should we queue up, honestly? Do I just want to go straight for the Spidertron? A little bit. I've been looking forward to the Spidertron for so long. Yep, I think we're just going to go straight for the Spidertron, honestly. Okay, Spidertron it is, and then we'll go from there. Figure it out later. Um, but let's let's start making some bio scrubbers now. How many bio scrubbers do we need? We need. Why can I not find them? Where are the bio scrubbers? Hello. Oh, did I put them at the bottom? I put them at the bottom. Dang. Okay. So we need to have just two buildings doing them which is fine oh you know what we do need to go back to the surface because um we need to go like put prod mods and stuff and whatnot and we need to build out the vitalic acid so that's fine we'll come back up here shortly um but we do need to head down there really quickly and let's see do we want to take this guy no we'll take just this and we'll grab some rocket fuel from here I guess there we go and we shall launch actually right down here is awesome because we're gonna need to do a bunch of uh, this uh, vitalic acid like I said I thought we were about to land on the land on the tracks all right and I don't know why, like, it never drops you down, like, exactly where you want it to be, but it's fine. Okay. So this stuff is out of... Wow, we're out of extract? Really? We used it all? Alright, we're gonna have to look into that. Um, in the meantime, though... Uh, how do we want to do this? Okay, at least it didn't damage anything uh, too valuable. Like, at least it didn't hit this thing with my 20,000 ingots. It literally just hit this active provider warehouse. What the frig? That would have been so bad. Okay, let's do this and this. And then we're going to copy paste this guy, I think. Yes, so that's four buildings eight buildings, oh, I'm not, uh, six, that's eight. And then this is gonna be 16. And then we need four more, that's gonna be um, the 20 buildings that we needed, right? We needed 20, correct? Yep, 20 buildings. Now we do need to figure out what's going on with extract and why that's not working. Um, but before we do that, we can also Hmm. Let's get one of these guys down. One there. 
And we can do one. Ooh, we can't quite do all of them. That stinks. That stinks. We're going to have one guy powered by these. That's all right. All right, so we do need to, and how did this get, how did these all get forgotten? I must have not copied them correctly, obviously. All right, then we just need to copy paste this request all along the way. It's taking a while to save the file these days. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we just need to figure out what's up with extract and whatnot, which actually we maybe should head to the other planet just to do some finagling of things because, um, yeah, wow, we are full up on Iridium, which is awesome. It's taken a while to get there. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Let's get rid of this stuff. I should have gotten rid of all that before I came down, but whatever. Um, ah, I see, I see. Hmm. Okay, I think we are going to head to the other planet because I really would like to deal with um, what's going on there because it seems like things are like kind of backed up and weird. All right, so there was just a rocket that came back and it's going to be unloading this stuff. So that's good. In fact, it's going to start clearing stuff out of that landing pad. I don't know why there's so much, there was so much stuff in that landing pad, like it's a bit cleared out now and like thrown into here, but there's like, there's like five rockets worth of stuff over there and I have no idea why. Like look at this belt, this belt is still full and there's still like two or three rockets worth of stuff and there's also 1300 fuel cells over there. So I have no idea when all that stuff happened. Um, but what we really need to do is we need to figure out the balance of the extract and the spice because we don't need like that much spice being put into the rocket. What we really need is the extract. Um, so I am gonna take another rocket over there as bad as I feel about it. Um, because uh, we still do need to do a few things. And why is this? Ah, you know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if power like is no, power is fine. I have no idea why that keeps happening. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like, why is... Um, if I go to a novice, right? Like, this thing isn't receiving... Oh, you know what? This got destroyed before by those biters. I bet you that this isn't... This is supposed to be novice to uh, Salamene. Yeah. Um, where is this? <laughs> novice, Salamene to novice, Salamene to novice, novice to Salamene. Okay. I don't know, dude. And this is supposed to be Salamene to novice. I think that's what was going on. Yeah, it totally was because it was it kept filling things up and it wasn't supposed to and it kept launching rockets when it wasn't supposed to. Ah, that because of those biters that came here. That is silly. Okay. Well, at least I know what happened now. Um Now this should be this should be relaying relaying numbers from novice, but it really isn't. Um Let's go back over to Novice, actually. What we need to do is we need to do one more of these guys right here um, because I want to basically, like, manage the numbers of things that are here a little bit more closely. So I'm going to do this, but I'm going to switch it. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to do um, this. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to hook this up to here, right? And we're going to switch these numbers to be this. And this, I guess we are like kind of like running out of 
spice and we're gonna end up having more extract which is good but I do want to regulate it a little bit more anyways so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this like this How's this, how does this work again? Oh shoot, and then we're gonna go output over here for extract, which means that this will be spice over here. God, this is so confusing. Uh, let's see, it's green that's hooked up to here. And we'll say that this is less than spice. S, we're gonna make S uh, gonna be 50,000, I say, which is gonna be spice, right? Um, so spice is less than 50,000. I think that this is working correctly. I don't know. And then this is Red wires, hook those up. Okay, I think that that's correct. And then we are getting 109,000 of this. So this should say that it doesn't wanna go, right? It's a bit confusing how this all works. Oh wait, I need to hook this up. It's hard to tell what this is hooked up to. This needs to be hooked up here, right? And... Where is this output hooked up? <laughs> it's so hard to tell where this output is hooked up to. I think it's hooked up to this pole. Wait, no. <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay, okay, so we've got our signal coming in here, right? The signal says that extract is less than a thousand, output green. Extract is greater than V, output green. That's for the rocket launch triggers. Now this part here is gonna be a little bit different. So we actually wanna do, I think we need to combine, I think that these aren't working at all. Erudite less than like if i hook this up right to like a power pole this isn't going to be correct right so we've got our signals and we've it's got nineteen thousand, but it doesn't have the values coming back from novice if we look at novice here well that these are uh these need to be like these right so that so we stop bringing that back and we should see this number increase now yeah okay now this says it's still working which doesn't make any sense right because we need to combine uh, we need to basically like do a a wire transfer like so that we transfer the colors of them right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here we're gonna go each times one output each, which is basically just gonna uh, transform the circuit so that we can connect uh, this other color circuit here and, oops, and combine the values from novice, right? Oops. <laughs> Okay, it's a mess of wires now, but this is off now. This is on, 
And this should be off. Nice. So that actually does work. Um, as expected, I think. Now, the only thing I don't know that works... Input signals... Is the only thing I don't know that works is this now. So this is correct. This is going to be vitamin extract greater than V. Output green. Yeah, no. This one should output green, right? No. Greater than I. Oh, it's not. This needs to be hooked up here. This one should be outputting green. Yep. This one's also should be outputting green. Okay, cool. All right, so there goes the rocket. Very cool. And for the most part, we should just be putting in an extract right now, um, which is nice because that's pretty much all that we actually need, right? So let's go down here. I just want to make sure that everything's running perfectly fine before we, you know, head out of here. Um, not backing up on anything. We are backed up on this stuff. And so what I'm going to do... Is just do this. So that it adds in like an extra belt or two of that. And then this stuff... I'm not sure why it's all so backed up. Oh, the, it looks like these outputs are backed up, possibly. Is that actually the case? Oh, I think it, I think it was the case because... Hmm. It's tough because we're only doing half a belt here, right? We really maybe should do another belt, but I don't have enough with me to, to do that. But it's possible that we need to do like a second belt of this stuff. That's like a full belt that's dedicated to it. But at least these are, oh, they all seem to be working now that like things are moving, which is good. Cause I calculated originally for 900, which is half of um, a blue belt. So I think that this is fine. Um, things are moving and we should just be pretty much just putting extract into the rocket, which means it's gonna take a really long time to fill up it at the speed that it's going. <laughs> yeah, holy moly. But also we should, we're gonna end up clearing out a lot of these rocket parts now. In fact, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of them and throw them in here just to speed things up. In fact, I can just do it like this. Wow, we, we must have put, we must have brought so many rockets over that were just like unnecessary. Okay, that's like all the rocket parts pretty much. And ooh, we got a uh, CME heading for novice. I'll have to deal with that here. Um, cool, well, I'm going to let this fill up. And then once this is all filled up, I'll be back here and we will continue working towards getting those bio scrubbers done. Be right back. Hey everyone. Uh, no, hold on, <laughs> what the frick am I doing? All right, so we're back here. And as you can see, the Spidertron research literally just finished right before I started recording. So that is awesome news. Um, and in the meantime, we can start working on some other um, researches here. Anti-creep virus capsule seems cool. That's a lot of research though. Um, I'm gonna just start, I don't know what all of these are used for, honestly. Uh, I probably will never use biter capsules. So let's not research those. Let's research the biogun. Let's research productivity modules, life support two. Um, and then we can also start doing these bio upgrades for our character, which seem pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, we'll just let those things uh, rock and roll. Um, now I did do like a little bit of finagling with different things and like finally things are actually working again. We literally just had a bio rocket launch, which is good news. And we did bring back 20,000 um, extracts. So this is unloading extremely slowly, but it is unloading, um, which is fine because bio extract is literally the only thing that um, is coming back at the moment because everything else is full basically. So it's all good. 
All right, so now we need to do bio scrubbers. And what was this again? It was vitalic acid. And we just need two of these buildings, which is cool. So let's go one, two, bio scrubbers. Ba boom. And we'll just do this right through here. I did do all of these like barrels. I don't know. I, I mean, eventually it'll fill up and it'll be fine, right? So it's all good. I'm thinking maybe I should like stop the barrels though. Let's just do let's just do one row of barrels since we have so many now. Surely I don't need all of these, right? And you know what I'm also thinking that we should do is really quickly before we do those bio scrubbers is we should like help the extract get unloaded because of how slowly it's going. So let's just do this, ready? We're gonna grab extract and just drop it in here. Boom. There's all of our extracts done. So that was easy. Um, probably just destroyed the bots, um, but that's fine. Uh, all right, so now we can actually do this over here. Like these should actually be getting all of the extract that they need. Let's uh, proactivity these guys. And then we can do requesters and providers, of course. Uh, let's do this. Providers, and we'll do, I don't know, one row seems like overkill, but whatever. There we go. All right, so that is gonna be bio scrubbers. And then what we need to do is in orbit, we need to request them. So let's go request those. Again, how many do we need? We need like 200 something, right? 216, which translates to 2100 bio scrubbers because we multiply by 10 here. So bio scrubbers. 2100 bio scrubbers. Cool. So that's working. Um, everything else here is currently working as expected, I think. Um, albeit maybe slowly in some cases, but it, everything does seem to be functioning currently, which is good. Um, and we do still have research coming out. Now we're going to have to head back up to orbit here shortly with these bio scrubbers. Uh, no way that this is correct. We need to be like 40, oops, like 40, 40, and 40, so that these things work nonstop, because otherwise they're just going to be, yeah, they're not going to be working nonstop. In fact, it might even need to be higher than 40, I don't know. Um, all of these guys seem to be working, but I have a funny feeling that we are just going to chew through extract. Um, with all of these, even though it's like one extract, you only get two vitalic acid from one extract. And you know what? I need to like stop these barrels. Like we don't need that, that much stored in barrels and it's just not worth it. So hopefully this will start to back up here very shortly. But basically we just need these guys to run. So. We're just gonna let those guys work. And in the meantime, um, we are going to get ready to head back up to orbit with some bio scrubbers. So now once again, we just need to wait for bio scrubbers to be fully in before we can head up to orbit. So I'm gonna be waiting here for those bio scrubbers to finish. We've got 1400 of them to make. So it's gonna take probably a little bit. Once I'm done with that, I'll be right back here and we'll pick up where we left off. All right, guys, we are finally back here in orbit and we just got here with um, all of the bio scrubbers that we're, we've been needing. So let's quickly do this. We are gonna filter by bio scrubber and they're right there. And then we need to do one of these here. And I'm just gonna go like this because it's so fast. Whoa! No, 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 no. We need to do bio scrubber uh, as, <laughs> as the filter there. There it is. Let's get rid of that ice and the bio scrubbers. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's 
gonna come right down here, all the way across everything. Whoa, there goes a train absolutely flying by, and let's just go like this. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the belt straight. There we go. And that should start making Science 2s. Let's freaking go. Uh, hey, and look at that. 174 hours in. We finally have Biological Science Pack 2s. Now we are a little slow. Whoa. Why are we backed up on Bio Sludge? 11,000 contaminated Bio Sludge in here? Holy moly. Is that accurate? Wait, this thing isn't even working. Ooh, we overflowed on Bio Sludge like I was afraid we might. Okay, so I think this is actually what we have to do. So we have to have like a second tank that we have over here. What am I, what, what, what's blocking this? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, wait, that can't work. Hold up. I just wasted a bunch of bio sludge. That's fine. It, <laughs> whoopsies. We're, we have enough as it is, but what I have to do, hmm, it's gotta be like out here, I think. And what we need to do is we're gonna have to, uh, this is gonna be a little bit messy. So basically we have to control the flow into and out of this tank, right? And so this tank has gotta always have room in it, okay? So what we need to do is we do need to have a pump here that is hooked up to this that says when bio sludge is less than a hundred thousand, let's say we can pump into the tank, okay? But we do need to have a way to get bio sludge out of here because um, it is it is going to be necessary at some point, right? So let's grab this right here and bring it down this direction. Cause basically like we do need to get bio sludge out of there. Right. And so that's what this tank is going to be for. And how on earth are we going to do this? Um, I have no idea because this guy is in the way. Let me go move that really quickly. Oh, I guess we can, let's do this really fast. Go here. Yeah, here. Go do, 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 do. Okay. So what is gonna happen down here is we're gonna move this guy. Of course, I get more construction bots that I don't need. Let's just get rid of all the ones I don't need. Okay, this is gonna go right through here. And then we're gonna have another pump that's here that says pump. Uh, wait, I don't think we need to have, do we need to have a value on this? I'm trying to think, right? So we're gonna prevent pumping into here when it's not full, right? That makes sense to me. Um, what does not make sense is, Oh, how does this work? All right, so when do we need to pump? We need to pump into here when it's starting to get emptier, right? We need to pump into here from this tank. Oh wait, this is what needs to have a circuit on it. This needs to have a circuit that says like, when bio sludge is less than like 10,000, we pump into there. And then that tank is going to always pump. This tank over here is always going to be pumping into this tank, I think, at all times. And trying to fill it up. That way there's like, there's always going to be room in here because it's always pumping into here. And this is only going to fill up this tank when uh, it needs extra bio sludge, right? I think that that makes sense. And then that means that this, this guy can work nonstop, right? Basically, we need these two guys to be able to work nonstop. Um, hello, are there pipes coming? 
There's one. There's the other. So now this is going to start filling up with bio sludge. And we can... Could even do that with a steel pump. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Whatever. Um, but now this guy should be able to work all the time. Yeah. And that means that the bio sludge, contaminated bio sludge count should just like come straight down from the ceiling. Basically. Nice. Okay, that, that was, <laughs> I knew that that was going to happen at some point, and I'm glad it happened now rather than later, right? So this, this should not be working, basically, unless it absolutely has to. Ah, but we do need to do this. Right, we do need to put this guy here. And I think that we need, we need to have, like, the same condition on it. Right? And then last but not least, we actually do need to do one more thing, which is we need to get this tank's bio sludge into the system so that there's like bio sludge to be had, if you will. Um, now, where do we do that part at? Mm, I guess we'll, we can do it here, right? Okay, let's just jump into satellite mode. It's always easier to, to do this. There. Do a niner, and then we'll go. There we go. Okay, so that should fix the bio sludge issues here. Uh, we're missing biomass at the moment, which is because we're missing biocultures, which is because we're missing this, and we're out of lithium chloride again. Bro, we keep running out of lithium chloride. Why are we using so much lithium chloride? Did I do this factory planner wrong? Like, are we sure that it's only 262? I don't think it's 262. I think it's more than that. I'm just gonna like double this because I'm sick of running out of, every time I'm this process, whole process has stopped, it's literally because we're running out of lithium chloride, which is like the dumbest thing to run out of. So we're gonna, we're gonna just like jack that number up and hope that it works out. In the meantime, we are getting some Science 2 packs and some Science 1 packs coming out over here, um, which is awesome news. And that when this train gets over here, which it will be here shortly-ish, I think, um, it's gonna come back here momentarily. We just need to switch this. So we need to do, hmm needs to be like science pack two we'll just do like three three of those rows i don't know there we go unload it all and actually these need to be switched to filters because we need to do it'll cause issues later if they're not filters boom there we go and that is that. I think that that's everything that we needed to do for biological science. Obviously, we're doing science a little bit slowly right now. And the reason is that this is not working full speed because I keep running out of stupid lithium chloride. So if I didn't run out of lithium chloride, um, it wouldn't be an issue. But now we've got a lot of extract up here. Yeah, we've got so much stuff up here that we're there's no way we're going to run out of it anytime soon. But for some reason... Only lithium chloride seems to be running out. And how much stuff do we got in here? You know what, we're just gonna launch this because I can afford it and um, we need the lithium chloride anyways. Okay, so now that we done, we've done that, um, we are going to be working on getting the next, uh, like I said, astronomic science packs started and working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up another grid square here and then I'll be back and we can start taking a look at the factory planner that I come up with. All right, guys, so I have done a few things and I think that this is actually gonna be the end of the episode here um, for this time, just because like this is taking a little bit of time to do this as kind of expected, I suppose. Um, so we're building out the, the grid up here. It's almost finished. 
get, getting quite close. Um, but what I have been able to do is I've gotten a bunch of researches done. I was able to upgrade the productivities to productivity fives in our labs, which is awesome. But I want to do one more thing before we end the episode, which is going to be to upgrade those to number sixes, which will inquire, inquire, require us to make um, some vitalic reagents. Uh, if I can find where on earth this is done at. Here it is, vitalic reagent. So it's gonna be eight extract, one vulcanite, 10 lithium chloride, and it's done in a centrifuge or radiation facility. Obviously we are going to be doing it in centrifuges because that's what we have here. So if I just grab one of these guys, we're gonna plop it down. Um, hello? All right, grab this. Where am I? I am out here. I'm out here, here we go. Okay, throw that down there. Um, oh, I had it on my picker anyways, okay. Uh, I don't know how much of this we're gonna need, really. Mm, let's just do two right now, honestly. Go like this, like this, and then we're gonna do Vitalic Reagent. We're gonna productivity this for sure. And I guess we'll just use this little guy to speed it up because we don't need anything crazy. Um, and then go like this, go like this, this, go out, go here. Uh, we'll do like, we should have everything except for the extract, which we just need to bring back. This thing just doesn't fill up quickly enough, like because there's, it stacks in two hundreds. So I keep having to manually like send it back. Um, what is going on here? Like everything is backed up. It kind of looks like too much spice. Ah, too much extract coming from these guys. Mm, I didn't think of that. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, we're gonna have to go fix that here shortly. Um, but we should be able to at least do this now. I'll have to go fix that aw uh, between episodes. Kind of a silly thing to have overseen. Uh, but basically what I'll do is I'll just switch this to here to like output priority um, like this. We'll switch this to be this. And then we'll just have to like build this out here for the for the extract right so that that way these don't back up like they did which is of course a silly problem to have um and there's not really that much i can do about it so at least from map view so yeah um but look at this we got some vitalic reagents and if we check this out we need holy moly we need 140 vitalic reagents per prod mod my goodness and this only makes one all right, we're gonna make this like 80. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to spend some time on this. Uh, obviously, I, there's no way that I can do this at the moment. Um, but basically, before I do any more researches, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the rest of these prod mod sixes. That way we get like an extra 12% out of all of our science packs, which is like huge, huge, huge gains in terms of resource savings. So especially because they're getting insanely expensive. Um, so yeah, that, this, this episode is kind of just like finishing off all the biological researches and you know getting to the point where next episode we will be able to get into all of this stuff which I've been working on, uh, figuring out what that is gonna look like. So I'm super excited about that. that. That will have to wait. I will see you guys all on the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you then.